YouTube, welcome, welcome stream, welcome everybody to the grand final of the last Empire tournament. The moment we've all been waiting for. Someone had predicted these four gentlemen making it through to the final, and here we are. If you predicted that, then then you are correct. Crackly coming in with a raid. Appreciate you, Crackly. GG today, mate. You played some amazing games, and it was an honour to cast you guys. And right on cue, ready for the for the the last Empire tournament, the final stage. We're at a one-one, which is great. We've gone to the last map, Hidden Valley. Picked it. A lot of, lot of ranked players would have played this. Uh, sorry, these guys would have played this heavily on the ladder. So we're hoping up to see some interesting strategies and see how it unfolds on a 2v2. Uh, but yeah, pre appreciate the raid, Crackly. Thank you very much for that. Uh, <clears throat> support the community. Uh, I love the support, and I, and I love you guys getting involved. So I really do appreciate it. Um, so we've got spawning in on the south side. We've got Recon and the Mister. Sorry, <clears throat> Recon and the Mister. So we've got Recon spawning in as the Malians in the color blue. We've got the Mister, the one, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, spawning in as the Japanese in the red. And on the north side, we have their opposing team, the, the Canadian brothers, the dogs, the, the, the year of the dog, legends. Wham in the, uh, in the pink as the French, uh, <coughs> and Puppy Paw as the Byzantines yeah. in the green. So excited to see how this will unfold. I think... I'm not sure how this plays out, but he's interested to know Crackley's thoughts and anybody else in the chat. Uh, I feel like, you know, Malian's having to push out for this might be a bit difficult when you've got two knight sieves or certainly two cavalry sieves that you're against. Uh, it's not sure how that unfolds. Later the game goes on, I feel like... Uh, I feel like the Japanese and the French will very much come into their play. Obviously, Byzantines and Malian's head of an eco behind them. So I, I feel, yeah, I, d I have no clue. I don't have the knowledge like you guys do, and certainly not Nanny Ori here who's joining me. So Nanny, passing over to you, what, what are your thoughts? Right, so normally on this map, the lanes are a bit narrow. That's not quite as much of an issue on this four-person four version. Things are a bit wider. I still think that it's a little bit, you go straight to your enemy's base. As a result, knights are going to have an advantage flanking around. I agree that any uh, civilization that relies on horsemen are going to appreciate this much space quite a bit. Mm. I do think, uh, I'm not sure if Byzantines are the right call here. We'll see. Normally, they do use horsemen to harass and feudal. And then in castle they usually move away from cavalry so we'll see how that plays out probably depends on the matchup uh french will not be moving away from uh cavalry if i were to guess they're just so good at it mm. Malians, i don't know i think you hit the nail on the head if you look at their nearest pit mine other than the, their starter gold they have to go all the way out to the edge of the map they have two golds out here but those are exposed and they're against cavalry. It would be raided quite a bit. That's going to be punished further down the line. Yeah. And you can see that uh, Wham actually scouted this area twice. He ran his scout in a circle just to, as if to go, hmm, this looks like juicy raiding. <laughs> um, I like that thought. <laughs> the. Uh, uh, Japanese do well here. Japanese obviously like the turtle. That's not really what makes them good here, though. What makes them good is the lane. Japanese can mass extremely well, especially if they get a Yoroshiro into a building in Castle Age. They can produce faster than others. That allows them to mass up and just, you know, straight line into your base. If you can't keep up with your production, prepare to be punished. Yeah. That so, said, one thing that does uh, stick out right off the bat, I correctly called this earlier. In 1v1s, you start with a deer camp under your TC in order to give you a bit of a food bonus. It looks like the deer camp spawns in between the players in 2v2. And at least, no, it looks like maybe on both sides, they just started to push the deer in towards their TCs. 
That nanny, can I just point out he's scouting it again with uh, his second scout that he's just brought. He's, br he's bringing it back over like, let me just confirm what I've seen here. Is this the raiding area that I need to concentrate on? Arena pointing out a good point. He can put a pit mine on his his friend's gold. The issue is that it then deprives uh, the Japanese, the mister, um, getting the gold. I like the idea of it once, once it's been depleted. I like that idea, but depriving your teammate of gold, I don't really like the sound of, uh, especially when it is a small gold node and then again you know your teammate has to push out for this gold as well so um yeah i did think about that as well before you mentioned it and i feel like yeah if it's depleted i like the idea but otherwise maybe not well actually you can still let your teammate mine it as long as you leave one you just don't build one of the houses so they can put up a mining camp uh, it's more of the reason just to not deplete it while he, he needs the gold just as much. Um, if you know what I mean. I mean, he's obviously already got a blacksmith on it, but... You, you know that the pit mine doesn't deplete the gold, right? No, I know I know that, yeah. Oh, the, oh, does, it, oh does it not? No. Oh. No, it generates gold forever. It never takes the gold away. So, uh, okay, so I thought it removed gold uh, until it was depleted and then just carried on anyway. Okay, that's something I didn't know. Fair enough. Okay, cool. I'm a little bit wiser. And we're seeing pro scouts coming out for Wham. This is not something we probably would have expected. I did wonder. I was like, hey, I was like, did he produce two scouts at the start? And he's, he literally is. <laughs> he's pulling the deer away. I love this. I love this. This is the year of the dog. <laughs> dog moves. Noob. <laughs> it doesn't deplete, noob. <laughs> Thank you. Noted. Shows how much I play Malians. I do enjoy playing Malians actually quite a lot. Yeah, Molly are probably my one of my favorite sips. At least one I know how to play extremely well. Um, okay, so it looks like Recon is going into a cow boom here. Thought so when he put up the quarry. He's all, he's using some of the cows for food. That'll help him stave off any food problems. Uh, you said he went pro scouts? Yeah, so Wham's gone pro scouts and picked up all of the deer. The, the part that he scouted a lot, and no one's seen this either. Um, <laughs> And he's taken through, uh, I don't know how many spawn in, but he's got three left to take, essentially. Uh, and likely will be picking up this lot as well. Okay, so he's picking up these ones yeah. first, but he took, yeah, he took a sizable chunk out of so, the uh, the furthest one. This is actually very funny, but I absolutely love it. French pro scouts. French, uh, we always, we've addressed this nearly every match, have a massive food problem. They burn through it so fast, they don't really get a bonus to food gathering, so they need any advantage they can get, like boar and like deer. And he's saying, I'm not going to fight over this. I'm going out on the map, and I'm just going to pick up all of the deer I can, and this will sustain him for a long time. Yeah. So it's not something you normally see, I love it. I think this is a long-term play that we're going to see the ramifications of even 10 minutes from now, easily. I agree, agree. And we've obviously seen the reaction from Recon, knowing that Wham! the French is on, on his side. So he's taken the decision to go and build the, the pit mine, his second pit mine, on the large gold on, on Mr.'s side to hopefully help defend him there. Um, which is a good call, seeing as the Byzantine was quite happy to sit back. Pump upon the Byzantine was obviously quite happy to sit back and uh, and boom a bit. He is now bringing out some spearmen. You might see, see some shields drop. Uh, and we've got three barracks coming out for Mister now, so he's looking to pump a significant amount of units out. Still spearmen. Let's see. On Puppy Paw's side, we see two TC. We do see a mercenary house in a barracks. It's production, but it's enough to defend yourself. That's not really an aggressive amount of pushing. And we do see he's made a couple of archers, uh, longbows. Yeah, longbows. Just so he can poke and prod anywhere he sees his weak. He's specifically going for that second pit mine, which explains the barrackses and the spears coming out from Mista. Spears, which will be punished by the longbows, 
and probably they'll, they'll start to lose the houses. Mm. Uh, definitely a good bit of aggression from the northern side, Team Year of the Dog. They're going to want to either get out Samurai or maybe rethink their strategy if they plan to hold this position. <laughs> and now the, uh, the scouts are on their way to another deer pack. I said it before, I love this. Look at how many deer packs are out in the middle of the map. Mm. We've mm. already seen one claimed. There's another to the south. The, and then there are two on this north side. He could have up to four deer packs, and that is six deer per pack. Seven deer. Yeah, seven deer per pack. That's 28 deer. He could but be I... uh, it, uh, using a faster food source than people are used to for a long, long time. Can I just say as well, I like what he's done here, and I think this is what's in his head. Rather than stripping them back entirely, he's left enough to go, you can go for it, and then that allows me to have some more raiding opportunities. And I guess that's what's going through his head. He's left one dead here and one alive, and then three in the far side. Um, and he's almost stripping them back to go, they're not that worth it, but sure, go for it, and I'll hopefully get some vil kills off the back of it. So it's a little smarter than that, than what you're probably thinking. You know why he's not taking the last deer of the deer pack? It dis the icon would disappear from the map. Right now, in the fog of war, Recon and Mista see the deer out there, and they don't know that the pack has been claimed. I, if they did, they uh, might adjust their strategy for that. Uh, or later on, they might go out to claim that food source, and they find there's only idle one time. deer and they've wasted their time. Yes, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Additionally as well, because they've wasted their time, do they then commit to getting the deer pack, what's left of it, and then allow themselves to get raided? Yeah, I like the thought. Some knights come in on the pit, the first pit mine. They don't manage to get a villager, villager despite the charges going off. They pull out, no losses. Uh, overall, that, that's a good raid because French knights will heal up, but didn't really give him an advantage. On the north side, obviously, they're fighting back over the pit mine. It looks like they do have the mass, although the longbows... Well, the longbows will snipe out the spears and maybe the Onabu geishas, but they're not going to snipe out... Uh, this. No, yeah, actually, it's just a katana bannerman. I thought there were more samurai in there, but there were not. So it looks like they are going to hold their aggressive position here over the pit mine. Mm. That means that, to be honest, all map control right now goes to the uh, team of the French and the Byzantine. Yeah. They've also both hit Castle Age. The Mist has had to produce units. He's lagging behind. He is at least on 2TC, and he's upgraded to a Daimyo Manor. There he starts his Castle Age now. But again, they don't. They think that they have the food advantage with the uh, Grand Fulani Corral and with the Daimyo Manor. They have no idea that uh, you know Wham has taken all of these deer, and they might have some idea that the Byzantines are going to set up their uh, cisterns. But they've had no chance to punish it. So these Olive Gardens are paying off as well. Yep. <clears throat> relics coming back as well. Yep, they're grabbing all the relics. They've walled off. They're going to have two sacred sites. That the second pit mine does finally go down. Uh, generally, this is why in, if you haven't set up your golden corral yet, going for the second pit mine is considered greedy. Because you, can, you can't build the second pit mine and build the corral and produce enough army to go out on the map and defend. You usually have to pick two of the three, and in this case, for trying to go for all three, he has been successfully punished. And we are now seeing a push coming in as well from Poppy Paul. Uh, it's a push with Varangians. They have been upgraded. They're not going to dive under the TC, though it's completely within their power to do so. However, this TC could fall victim 
uh, gets this second PC yeah. is much weaker. A lot of people don't think about it, but because this TC only garrisons seven, it only has half the firepower of a, your starter TC. And the range as well, I think. only half the damage. Mm. So, it is a position that could be punished. All right, javelin throwers tried to get the longbows. Instead, they run into the Varangians. Uh, they do get a few picks. Some backup comes from the Mista. And it looks like these two sides are just going to scatter for now. On the far side, we see the knights tried to come in to, to raid. The Mista didn't quite, uh, or what we have here is actually funny. Recon started a wall, got interrupted. Mista started the wall, got interrupted, and then Recon finished it. So we have a very haggard combined wall, which isn't finished, by the way. There's actually a gap on the north end still. So the knights can raid through if they want to. I feel like these guys could really commit on this push here. Uh, I think they thoroughly outweigh on one on this particular side. This side's walled, so it's going to take a bit of time for those knights to get through. I genuinely think they could go for some some push here. Yeah, one thing I will say is that uh, okay, there are seven mounted samurai here, but the javelin throwers and the Donzo aren't and the Yona Bugacias are not going to trade into what is largely Varangian no. guard. So even though they do have the numbers here, they don't have the unit advantage. No, if they commit as a team. But now we're if getting backed up by the French they knights. Could kill off the army. Oh, actually, now the knights arrive and. Yeah, we go back to a stalemate. Yep. And now they both have to move out to this gold mine. Uh, obviously, the, they believe that the left side's vulnerable to raids. They'll realize the knights are now here, so that is potentially. But this is a fight where uh, where the, the year of the dog want to take it, you know, right under their gold, under the villagers. Yeah, they'll. Sorry. They do take the fight well, though. Recon and Mista uh, manage to draw the army in. The French knights don't get a charge off. And as a result, the Byzantine army mostly gets mopped up before the French can engage. Yeah, not seeing many Japanese units left, though. I think, yeah, I feel like they should have taken that fight when it was just Puppy's army. Now that he's got reinforced by the French knights, it's, yeah, that is it. Yeah. I feel like they should have taken that fight. That's in yeah, fuck. Well, that's insane. Yeah, they had the numbers, but like I said, they didn't have the unit uh, composition to really beat it down. In the end, I think the results probably would have been the same, but the result is that knights came in and they took out the uh, javelin throwers. Varangians came in and wiped the dawn so mm. and they're just wasn't anything they could do about it and they lose map control really paid off down the line exactly and they lose that fight they lose all their gold bills and that's just it yeah that's really rough to take that fight there because they didn't want to go for the gold on the left side because wham had his knights there but then yeah that's why I, I really think they should committed to killing recon's army there i feel like they would have outnumbered him then they had enough spears to then deal with wham's army afterwards or at least push it back because the second they see Wham over that side, they know that they're probably not going to get raided on the left side, or at least not hard raided, uh, and then they can go for the gold there. And yeah, committing to that gold there, I f yeah. Not that I'm not that I fucking know what I'm talking about, but what a finish, yeah. And and yeah. our champions, the the 2024, the year of the dog, the year of the Canadian brothers, GGS, Pop Poor and Wham, hats off to you guys. Fair play. Thanks for thanks for taking part. Thanks for thanks for winning. <laughs> and and GG's yeah. to the Mister and Recon. Some phenomenal games.